it has gone fast if you think back to July and then we by August we have all those kids going to the Farm Progress show and then before the end of the the year the, the calendar year we're announcing we have we have this funding for the Ag Academy and now we have teachers identified already in March and like you said it hasn't even been a year it's been a whirlwind but an exciting and fun world whirlwind just being involved in this whole rebranding effort with the cater as far as a community and trying to revitalize a lot of the local jobs and start connecting students that are indicator and showing them opportunities that they can have right here in their hometown and connecting them to careers in agriculture, careers that we need them in and careers that they need to be successful in their life and, and try to set some goals and just grow personally and develop themselves by pursuing an agricultural career. So that's probably what I'm most excited about is connecting students to those careers, placing students that I'll maybe have next year at Decatur, four or five years from now, they're going to be in a career career indicator coming back to my program as an alumni member. That's what I'm looking forward to. So and one of the things I'm very passionate about is educating people who don't maybe understand the agricultural industry. And recently there was a study done by the USDA and Purdue that found in the next five years there will actually be hundreds of thousands of jobs that are open in the ag industry, but also jobs that we literally can't fill because there are not enough people trained in agriculture. Whether that's with uh, maybe just a technical training, an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, all of it. So I think this offers a potential for students to explore those career paths in agriculture and promise them their is a job available to them right away. I think that the biggest growth that we've seen in our kids is the soft skills. And I think when we talk to a lot of employers at, in Omaha, it's those soft skills. Uh, kids are, are more confident. It gives them more opportunity to be themselves and take risks and so forth. So we're seeing that growth. We have kids who are super shy, who are coming out uh, as seniors, who can speak probably better than me. <laughs> you know, they're, they're just articulate and they have that confidence and, and, and they believe in themselves. That's the most. Uh, I think this program that we have, this ag, is it's, it's that belief that, that, that there's life after high school and they're going to be able to find a, a job that, that, that they want. In retrospect, people will think everybody has this opportunity. This is really unique. You know, you have a chance to actually lean in and figure out how you can make a difference in the world through your education, uh, through contributing to the ag industry and the food, the food industry in a vibrant way. And I think they should be thrilled to have the opportunity. I always tell students, explore the opportunities and the possibilities. See if it feels good to you and then pursue that, that career pathway because you want to love what you do. We hire students that, that attend university, we hire far more that don't have that kind of experience, that may need a vocational opportunity. And so the jobs that we struggle to fill oftentimes are not people who are in universities, although we're short on those as well, but the vast majority of those are, are uh, jobs that, that kids can have experience without having to go to uh, a university. They might want to go to a uh, community college to, to gain maybe a little more experience, or what we think this agriculture culture education program will be will be vocational so that they get that training when they're 15, 16, 18 years old and then they can come out of high school ready to do those kinds of things. So Decatur Public School by nature is our largest producer of a workforce, right? And so the opportunity then to train the workforce while they're still in high school gives our local employers an opportunity to bring in really skilled, talented individuals either right into the workforce or, um, or kind of recruit them back after, you know, they've been away to college. Um, but what this also does is it gives us on the economic development front something else to sell about our community. So when employers are looking and, and deciding between which communities to settle in to bring their business to, we can say this is another fantastic thing we have. We have this incredible Ag Academy and FFA program that's going to be able to provide you with the skilled workers you need. Whatever they want to do, this program will prepare them for it. Whether it is an ag business or it's not, if it's an ag marketing or it's not, this will prepare you to be a leader and a mover and shaker in the community, either locally, regionally, or in the world. Whatever you want to do, this will prepare you for it.